tried these out yesterday for the first time and they're already gone. They are so, so good. You always need a hair tie. Hey, little boy. Mm, yes. I'm gonna let him keep going a little bit longer. There you go. Oh, snap. Thank you. Did you get something stuck in there? Uh, you sure did. You did, you got it stuck in there. Uh-oh, we gotta get it out. What's up guys, it's Sam with Mommy and Love of Fitness. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I have a very special, exciting announcement. I am doing a giveaway giving away a few of my own personal workout programs that I have here unopened. These are, are programs that I purchased myself. These are not sponsored. This is as a thank you for watching my channel, for subscribing, for following my journey. So these are the prizes you can win. First off is a Beachbody Classic, Brazil butt lift. It's all about toning your booty, growing your booty, lifting it making it nice and round. It's an amazing program. It's actually the very first program that I did. This could be yours right here. And the other giveaway is Pio. So this is one of Shalene Johnson's programs. She's incredible. It's a Pilates and yoga inspired workout. It is not easy though. I'm telling you right now, it looks like you're, you're like, oh yeah, yoga Pilates, that'll be an easy, fun workout that'll you know just be nice and smooth and I'll barely break a sweat. This is a hard workout. So in order to enter into this giveaway, one, this is for non-Beachbody coaches. So you can't already be a coach and be entered to win. I'm sorry, I would love to give you all the opportunity to win this, but you guys get 25% off anyways, so you can go buy these yourselves. This is for somebody who is not working with another coach and who wants to start their new year off by getting in shape. I'm gonna help you with these programs. I'm not just gonna send them to you and leave you on your own. I'm gonna help coach you through them if you need any help and I'll let you have access to some of my exclusive groups on Facebook. So to be entered into the contest, you need to do two things. Number one, I need you to click the share button on this and I need you to share this video on your Facebook. And number two, I need you to comment below, tell me number one, which program you want and then number two, I need a question from you. I want to know what do you wanna know about health and fitness? What advice do you need? What do you wanna know maybe about these programs? Whatever it is, I will use that question for my next Q&A video. So those are the two things, share it on Facebook, comment below, again, you can't already be a Beachbody coach, sorry. I wish I gave this to you, but I can't. And you need to not already be working with another Beachbody coach at this time. So if you're ready to get in shape in 2016, this is where you wanna be. Thank you guys for entering and thank you guys for all the shares and likes. It's so much appreciated. And now I'm gonna go downstairs and get my crafty DIY mom on and work on Sebastian's little play kitchen that I've been trying to finish for like the last five, six months. So I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, so here's the story with this uh, kitchen we have here. So it's raining cats and dogs outside, literally. Not right now, but it was one, this one day. And so we were driving around down our neighborhood and it's raining like crazy. And all of a sudden I'm with Zach's mom and all of a sudden we're both like, oh my gosh, look at that. And here's this play kitchen on the side of the road in our neighborhood. So I hop out of the car, uh, start trekking this play kitchen down to our house. I get to the house, I'm soaking, soaking wet. And this was last spring. And this thing has been sitting in our basement waiting for me to do something with it. And if you've been on Pinterest, and I, if you're a mom, you've been on Pinterest, at least I'm sure you have, that you see all these Ikea hacks on these adorable little play kitchens. And even though I have a boy, I still think it's really important um, and good for him to learn like playing in the kitchen and house stuff. So today I am revamping this, even though I already started. Uh, I had some issues with the spray paint I was using, so I decided I'll go ahead and turn it into a tutorial for you guys so you guys don't 
don't make the same stupid mistakes that I made and hopefully this works out. So this is what's happening. Basically the spray paint that I bought, even though it was a paint and primer in one, it's still scratching on the countertop plastic which if you have a little boy and he is super destructive like my son you have to make sure that that is going to stick so i've bought some new stuff i'm going to sand it down a little bit and kind of get it more um so that the spray paint will adhere adhere to it better and we'll make it so that hopefully it's a little bit more child proof and then once i spray paint the whole thing white i am going to take marble white marble contact paper and put that on the countertops and then i'm going to decorate it up all fun i bought some cute little pots and pans to go in it so that's what i am doing today i'll show you guys a little bit of the process along the way and definitely show you guys the before and afters <laughs> When I started the project, I used this Krylon Color Master paint and primer in one, and it says right here that it bonds to plastic. But when I tested this, I did like a kid proof chat test using the fingernail. I scratched the fing my fingernail along the top of the countertop, and it it scratched and chipped like like it was nothing. So I know that's not going to hold up to Sebastian, and I don't want it to just I don't want to put all this effort into it and then have it just look like shit in a week. I'm gonna give this one a try. This is Rust-Oleum Two Times Ultra Cover Flat White Primer. Also bonds to plastic. So we'll see if this one works. Here we go. When you do this, you gotta make sure that you are spraying it from far enough away so you're not gonna get drips and you want really, really thin, thin layers. Like, don't overdo it because you're gonna regret it. Now I'm going to let that dry for at least another hour and then I'm going to hit it with another coat. Warm up time. Alright, I just got done with hammer plyometrics. Really freaking hard workout. I'm really glad it was only 20 minutes because that one was super, super tough. Can I just say something really quick? Is that when you're doing these workouts at home and there's a lot of jumping, like in a plyometric workout, it's all about jumping, it can be really hard on your joints. So if you're feeling like it's pushing you too hard, do the moderation that has low to no impact because trust me, you don't want a chance getting hurt. So a lot of the exercises in the plyometric workouts that I do sometimes, I even though like I'm only 28 and I could do them, I don't feel comfortable doing them. I always will just like modify them. I don't care if I won't get as great of a workout. I'd rather have that than to get injured. So um, right now I've been having a lot of neck pain from being really tight and working and editing videos and editing photos. So I'm gonna do a little YouTube workout, um, or not workout, yoga like a yoga video to kind of loosen everything up to help my neck pain and just just do like a nice yoga flow and then maybe get some meditation time in so <sighs> should be really nice and relaxing I need it lucky for me here in Alabama it's $20 a month to get unlimited spray tans at this tanning place that's right next to our gym so I'm on my way to go get a spray tan because you know I have white girl problems and I like to be tan and I can't tan on my own and I'm definitely not gonna sit in a tanning bed and fry my skin, so I'll just do the, the special fake tan way. I'm sure you guys have probably seen my hands in some of my videos and been like, what the fuck, Sam? Don't you see that your hands look like shit? And I know they do, but <laughs> I, I'm, I'm working on my spray tanning skills. Just getting home from the gym and I wanted pizza, so I made a pseudo healthy version of pizza using a brown rice tortilla a tiny bit of cheese, some pizza sauce, four slices of salami, and some ground chicken. And it's gonna be amazing. It's like a pizza taco. Back from the gym, I let it dry. 
It's all nice and dry now. It feels like it's gonna do pretty well. The color is definitely looking a lot better. Let's do a third and I think final coat. And then I'm going to take this, this clear gloss cover, and basically I'm just gonna just coat the countertop portion with this because I want it to look like marble or like look like a glossy countertop, but I want the rest of it to look like it's just painted flat white for like the cabinets and stuff. I don't know, just it's a mom thing, it's like a designer thing where I want it to look as realistic as possible. So that's what I'm gonna put on over the top and then we'll get out the contact paper and we'll do the marble countertops. Okay, so the clear coat is on. It's going to dry overnight because I laid that clear coat on thick and I really hope I did the right thing. I really hope this thing is gonna hold because I will not be happy if it starts chipping really bad. So we'll see you guys in the morning. So I bought this really pretty white marble contact paper and I'll put a link for the place where I got it below. Now I'm gonna add this to the countertops. I think that might have been the longest process so far is adding that contact paper. Um, so this is a little basket that goes in there and it had like this ugly uh, basket weave sticker on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Rust-Oleum hammered spray and I'm going to spray paint the basket. Okay, so now I've got everything all spray painted. I've got all the contact paper on the cabinets or on the countertops. And what I did is I took another spray of the clear coat and just to kind of seal the edges and to seal that on there. So that's gonna dry tonight. And the little basket is completely spray painted. Now I'm just waiting for that to dry. Right now I'm gonna add three little LED lights. I found these for $10 at Home Depot. They're battery operated little LED lights. I'm gonna stick these on underneath the cabinet. It's gonna look super cute. This might be the best part about this kitchen. I'm so excited. So notice that there is no faucet on this kitchen. This was found on the side of the road. It was broken, there's no faucet. So I was like, what am I gonna do? And I got on Pinterest, I found a couple ideas with like um, U-shaped pipes to like spray paint the pipe silver and make it look like a faucet. I was like, that's cool, I'll try that. I go to Home Depot today and I found this. Well, okay, I made it, but this is like a pipe for a replacement part on an ice maker machine, I don't know. And I was like, that is so cute, it looks like a little, you know, like those fancy faucets that everybody wants right now. This is what it was. I'll show you guys. Ice maker supply line ever built 12 inch um, ice maker supply line, stainless steel. So that's what this part is. I had to kind of piece it together. Then this little silver part on the end is, and I found all of this in the plumbing, the plumbing section, or both of these, floor and ceiling plate flange, half inch. So basically what I had to do is I had to make sure I could find the smallest inner diameter hole for this guy. What I had to do is I had to find a bolt that would screw into the other end of this guy. And what I did is I took some E6000 glue. This is like, I used to use this to make my earrings, for my feather earrings when I made jewelry. Uh, it's amazing. So I took this and put a little bit on this bolt and screwed it in to make sure that it'll stay in place. It's not going anywhere. Then I put a ton of glue on the other side of it because this is Sebastian we're talking about here and I have to make sure that he doesn't just totally destroy this thing as soon as I let him go ham on it. So, oh my gosh, it's cold out here. So yeah, it's all dry now and now I'm just going to take it and glue down on the bottom here with the E6000. I really hope it holds. It's supposed to be amazing, amazing glue. So then I'm gonna take some painter's tape. I'm gonna tape it down just to hold it in place until the glue dries. And then I think that's it. All right guys, I can't show you the finished play kitchen because I have some last minute finishing touches that I'm gonna add to it, but I just wanted to thank you for watching this episode. Make sure that you enter yourself into that giveaway. I wanna be able to give away that Brazil butt lift and that pile to one of you, so make sure you do that. And thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the comments, all the likes, all the shares. It really, really, um, is amazing to me. So thank you and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye guys.